Welcome back to the Filmic channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to get the most out of Filmic Remote on Android, which is available now on the Google Play Store. Filmic Remote Android supports three connectivity types that suit a range of shooting conditions. First is via a traditional Wi-Fi network. This is the simplest option and just requires both devices be on the same network. This option provides a good balance between stream quality, latency and range. Next up is via Wi-Fi Direct which creates a peer-to-peer -peer connection directly between two devices without the need to join an existing Wi-Fi network. While Wi-Fi Direct lacks the same range as a traditional Wi-Fi network, when both remote and pro devices are close together, this can provide higher quality than a Wi-Fi network. The third option is via a wired Ethernet cable. This provides the greatest range and lowest latency, but it does require a router, cable and Ethernet adapters to work and is best suited for professionals requiring more range than is available on a Wi-Fi network or over Wi-Fi Direct. To connect Android Remote to Android Filmic Pro using Wi-Fi, just open your system settings and navigate to the Wi-Fi section. Make sure that both devices are connected to not only the same network, but also the same frequency band. For example, do not connect one device to 2.4 GHz and the other device to the 5 GHz band on your router, as this can result in inferior performance. Make sure you use the same band for both devices. Next, launch Filmic Pro and open Settings, Device, and enable Remote Control. Now when you launch Android Remote, your device will be available to connect to. Tap once to connect, and on the Filmic Pro device, accept the pairing request by specifying the time frame the Filmic Pro will continue to accept connection requests without issuing another pairing prompt. Connecting two Android devices using Wi-Fi Direct is not quite as simple as a standard Wi-Fi network, mainly because different phone manufacturers place this feature in different areas of the Android settings menu. Firstly, for best results, you'll want to disconnect from your standard Wi-Fi network. To do this, open System Settings and navigate to your Wi-Fi settings. Choose your network, then tap to forget it. Next, we need to enable Wi-Fi Direct. The easiest way to do this is to use the search tool under Settings and type Wi-Fi Direct. With it enabled on both devices, you'll be able to establish a peer-to-peer -peer connection. To connect to a wired network, you'll need two compatible Ethernet adapters, two Ethernet cables, and a router. Just connect both devices to your router via Ethernet and check to make sure that the connection is registered from the home screen. Please note that not all makes of Android handset may support Ethernet connections. Now that we've covered the three connectivity methods, let's dig a little deeper into the additional functionality located under Filmic Pro's Settings device menu. When remote control is enabled, the first field lets you rename your Filmic Pro device as it appears to remote. This can be really useful, for example, if you're working with multiple cameras and want to be able to easily identify them. I'll tap in this field once, rename my device, and then tap Done. If I jump over to Remote and swipe down to refresh the camera list, you can see that the name change has taken effect. Beneath Device Name in Filmic Pro, you can enable Remote Preview only if you don't want to provide a remote device with control over Filmic Pro, but do want to provide a clean feed for monitoring. This makes Filmic Remote a powerful director's monitor on set. And just beneath this, you get information about your connection type. As you can see here, I'm connected to Wi-Fi Direct, and it even gives you the name of the device you're currently connected to. Once a connection is established from remote, by default, you'll enter Mode 1, which is Control Mode, and mirrors the same intuitive interface found in Filmic Pro V6. You can drag your reticles to set focus and exposure, and tap to lock and unlock them, as well as enable Live Analytics, and switch between zebra, clipping, false color, and focus peaking overlays. And you can tap the manual controls button to reveal the manual arcs 
for complete manual control over focus and exposure. The imaging button allows you to manually set and lock your white balance, as well as apply flat and log V2 picture profiles if you have the cinematographer kit in-app purchase in Filmic Pro. Filmic Remote for Android also gives you full control over settings and allows you to remotely adjust your shooting resolution and aspect ratio, select your desired shooting frame rate, enable support for a range of hardware options, and much more. To start a recording, just hit the red record button and you can continue to make adjustments on the fly. To change to mode 2, tap the mode selector chevron in the upper left and tap to select the monitor mode. Monitor mode gives you cinema production capability, offering a 4-up display with a live video preview, a waveform monitor, there's a vector scope for you to check your color saturation across the entire image, and a histogram that lets you cycle through RGB composite, zone, luminance, and RGB channels. Mode 3 is director mode. This is perfect for providing a director, producer, or crew member with a device to monitor your production. The beauty of the three modes is that they can be cycled through on the fly even whilst recording. For example, I can switch to mode 1 control mode, set focus and exposure, and start a recording. Then I can jump to monitor mode to check my analytics. And then I'll switch to mode 3 director mode so I can focus on the performance. At any point, I can jump back into mode 1 to adjust as needed and ultimately end my recording. Disconnecting from Filmic Remote can be achieved from either Filmic Pro or Remote. To disconnect from the device running Filmic Pro, tap and hold on the screen. To do the same from Remote, tap the disconnect icon in the upper right. Once disconnected, you can view your recorded clips in Filmic Pro by opening the Filmic Library. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the Filmic channel for more.